Hello, Red Dirt Rainers. I wanted to go through the ordering process uh, for your horse show photos this past weekend and wanted to show you around and clear up a few things that people might have questions about. So hopefully this is helpful to you. But if you're on bxphoto.com, and this is where we are, you're going to select your horse show photos here tab. And then you're going to click your Red Dirt Raining. And it's going to come up and have you open the gallery. When it shows up like this, we're going to hit open gallery and it's going to want your email address. And this is not for any kind of spam mail or anything like that. Um, it's to for your own benefit to let you save um, your to your favorites folder and to allow you to um, make the checkout just a little bit faster. And you can always log back in and everything's still going to be saved in there. So you can come back at another day as well. So when you're in here, everything is done um, by filed by rider name or should be. And then the horse name after that. So um, with a few exceptions, here's a couple of people that I, um, these are the rider numbers, 109 and 299. If that was your number and you're looking, um, your photos are probably in here because your name wasn't written on the list and that's all that I knew to go by. So let's just pick somebody here for instance and use for an example. Let's, let's use William here. So here's all of William's pictures. He has 37 total photos in this file and you can do a quick look at them like this. Um, you can go into them individually. You can put them into a favorites file. There already is a favorites file here. So let's just say, for instance, if you want to see them bigger, you can click on it once and, and go through them just like this, um, using your arrows and go forwards or backwards. And um, let's just say, for instance, that we like this photo. And we're going to click the favorites button and it's going to make it blue right here. All right. And then we just go through a few more and say we like this one. We make it blue. And for instance, how about one more? And we will make it blue. All right. So we have some favorites um, in here. So we're going to go back to the gallery. And um, we can look at them again like this. We have a slideshow that will let you go through. We can compare photos, for instance. So say we like um, – let's go into our favorites real quick and compare our photos. So let's say that we want to compare – this stop and this stop together. So here they are side by side and now we can um, make that decision. I'm sorry. Um, I kind of hit it. Let's go back. Okay. So compare photos and you can, you don't have to do this by any means, but it puts them side by side. Now you can decide and say, I like this one and I'm going to put it in my cart and I'm going to buy it. Now these are the, the prints that are offered here. Okay. And let me be clear here where it says text on image, um, and place the comments in the checkout. So if you want it to say 2019 red dirt raining and, um, with the horse's name and whatever class that, um, you either won or placed in or whatever it was. If you want me to write on that, it's about three lines that I give you for this. And I can, I can do that and you can place that in the comments on the checkout. Just like it says, this is not a text message to your phone. So just want to be clear on that. Say you want to use it for digital media. I have some options here. You get one full resolution digital file. Uh, for $75. You can print it. You can use it. You can make a billboard. I don't care what you do with it. So we both share that photo and I uh, do it up for you. I 
crop it, fix it, put a name on it. I send you a released photo and you can advertise with it, whatever you want to do. Um, also in here, I give you the option of your entire writer file for $145. So all the pictures that I took for the weekend are in here and you would select this option if you want all of them. Now, when you do this, I do not crop or fix anything. I leave that to you and you can have at it. And what happens when I send this to you, you are automatically, when you check out, it will let you start downloading these photos. But here's the catch to those. Those are all low resolution photos because I take so many photos during the weekend that there is no way that uh, the system would be able to keep up with all the photos at a full, um, at a high res file um, with so many of them. And you would have a really hard time browsing around on the internet because it would slow everything way down. So what happens is I send you a link by using WeTransfer and it's going to go straight to your email and you can download them from there. Every single file, you can download all of them to wherever you want to um, or just download them as you go, as you really want to use them. You can email them to other people. I don't care what you do with them. So they are right in here. If what you're looking for is just a quick uh, low resolution uh, social media file, you can check out and do that immediate download and use it right now. And that is a low res, just exactly the way that I would send it to you. So um, if you choose that option, just know that you will not be able to print this file right here. So I hope that clears everything up for you. Let me show you one more thing. So uh, an eight by 10 is really a standard print, but we have a few options. There's this really pretty metallic paper that we use. And um, when I send it to the lab, it comes back and it just makes the colors just really, really pop and really pretty. We can do a true black and white print. And some people like that to have a little something different or just the regular standard print. Um, there is an edit crop here if you want to crop it and show me how that you would prefer it cropped. You can do that right here. And um, if not, I take care of it uh, just as a, as a normal part of my workflow and how I'm going to resend it and rework it and send it to the lab. So I hope that you have found that helpful. And... Um, I think that's it. If you need anything, um, you can email me from here. You can call me and you can text message me however you want to do it. So I hope that's helpful for you guys.